dear fourth sense will stream students welcome back into my another video hope you are all doing well so how was your today's paper make sure you will comment down and give me a feedback also how many questions came from a passing package of concrete techniques you can mention in the comments okay so today i am with the important questions and passing package for your subject transportation engineering bcv403 is its subject code let us discuss here model wise important questions super important questions which you should go through okay and as you already know it is a combination of numerical and theoretical portion the subject can be passed only by theoretical portion but you should go through uh, numericals also in order to get good score so i will discuss here theoretical questions explain the different modes of transportation and their importance in overall transportation system and here we have discussed advantages and limitations of road transport or other modes of transportation. What were the key recommendations of the MRGI car committee for road development in India? This is super important question. Frequently asked question as far as 18 scheme, 21 scheme is concerned. This question, uh, this question is always asked by the VTU. So classify uh, roads based on their function and provide examples. Describe the different road patterns and their applications in urban planning. What are the factors that affect highway alignment? Discuss with examples and describe the engineering surveys involved in highway alignment, right? Next we have what are factors affecting the geometric design of highways? What is super elevation and why is it essential in road design? Last question, what are summit and valley curves? And explain their importance in vertical alignment design and what are the typical gradients used in highway design? So these are seven questions which you have to go through uh, and cover from module first and if you are convenient with the numerical part go through the numericals you can uh, refer the uh, 18 scheme and 21 scheme papers also for numerical part okay and also your model question paper which video has released next is model second we have here five questions what are the desirable properties of aggregates used in highway construction discuss the desirable properties of bitumen and its role in flexible pavement what is bituminous emulsion and uh, why is it applied in road construction write down desirable properties of bituminous mixes used in pavements what are the factors that control the design of highway pavements what are time uh, types of joints used in rigid pavement what is highway drainage important and sorry why is highway drainage important and what are the requirements for an effective drainage system what are subsurface drainage systems and when are they used so explain the design of surface drainage systems with an example what are various cross drainage structure explain each one of those and you have to go through numericals that is design of longitudinal drain highway construction refer the model question paper and whatever the notes you are having and whatever the notes you are the professors have provided to you guys okay next is uh, model third what are the objectives and scope of traffic engineering discuss the traffic characteristics in brief explain the PIEB theory and its importance in analyzing driver reaction times next we have discussed the different types of traffic engineering studies what is PCU and factors affecting PCU at different locations this may be seven or eight marks question what are the different types of traffic signs and how are they used in traffic management next we have explained the IRC method of signal design what are the key factors considered while designing traffic signals? What are different types of uh, intersections and how are they designed to manage traffic flow? These are six questions from model third, which you have to go through. Okay, and the numerical part, it is according to your own convenience, right? Next is model four. What are the functions and requirements of sleepers and ballast in railway tracks? Explain the purpose of track fittings and fasteners in maintaining railway tracks. Discuss the method of calculating the quantity of materials required for laying a, rail, a railway track. Explain the function and types of points and crossings in railway tracks. Okay. So next questions, three questions from model four are here. That is define super elevation and explain its importance in railway track design. What are the key design factors considered for metro trends and high speed trends? Next two questions we have what are different types of railway stations and yards? Discuss the functions and requirements of rails in a railway track. Explain different types of gauges used in railway tracks. Draw a typical cross section of a single and double line broad gauge BG track. Right. So next is model fifth. Uh, we have here five questions draw and explain the layout of an airport discuss the factors that influence the site selection for an airport what aircraft characteristics affect the design and planning of an airport explain the classifications of airport in detail how is runway ori orientation determined using the wind rows differentiate between runway and highway what are factors affecting layout of taxiway 
explain the importance of wind direction and speed in determining the orientation of a runway so this is all about super important questions of the subject transportation engineering okay if you just cover these topics you can easily pass the subject if you go through numerical part then you can score more than 80 marks in this particular subject so practice well my best wishes are with you and make sure you will share these important questions with all your batchmates and friends so that they can also cover these super important questions within one day and one night so thank you for watching my video